Hello everyone. I'd like to introduce a new open source corpus named SpeedOcean 762 for the pronunciation assessment tasks. My name is Zhang Jinbo. This work was completed by the corporation of Xiaomi and SpeedOcean. We created this corpus and released it to the public for free. There are some similar corpora exist, but we think each of them has its drawback. Some of them are classical, but too old, and also most of them are not available online for download. Recently, some very good corpora have been released, for example, air to Arctic for mispronunciation detection. But we would like to provide another result which uses multi level scores instead of mispronunciation marks. In, in this purpose, we made this corpus. This corpus is entirely free for use, including both commercial and non commercial purpose. Speakers contain children and adults. And we have five human experts annotated data as three levels sentence level, word level, and phoneme level. To our knowledge, none of the existing non native English corpora for pronunciation assessment contains all those features. The speakers are 250 English learners whose mother tongue is, uh, is Mandarin. The training site and test site are divided randomly with half speakers for each. We carefully selected speakers considering gender, age, and the proficiency of English. The experts roughly rated speakers' English pronunciation proficiency into three levels, which are good, average, and poor. Those figures show the distributions of the speaker's age and those English pronunciation prophecy. The gender ratio is 1 to 1. And the test script is selected from the live test, containing about 200, oh sorry, 2,600 common English words. The number of sentences read aloud by each speaker is 20 and the total duration of the audio is about uh, six hours. The experts discussed and made the scoring matrix shown on this page. We think this is uh, also main contribution of this work. We researched marketing and found that most English teaching apps use three indicators to provide user feedback, which are accuracy, completeness, and fluency. We hope this corpus can provide a quantitative evaluation for them. The phoneme level score is the pronunciation accuracy of each form. The score 2 is for correctly pronunciation Score 1 is for heavy accent pronunciation and score 0 is for mispronunciation. The word level scores include accuracy and stress, and the sentence level scores include accuracy, fluency, and uh, prosody. We also have sentence level completeness score, which is not in this table, is uh, percentage of the words in the target test that are actually pronounced. The annotations are saved in JSON format. There are scores detailed JSON and scores.json. They are almost the same, while the simple version combines the five scores into one by taking the average or medium score. From the JSON, you can get scores in multi-levels. If you need to use the uh, original scores from the five experts, 
you can use the detailed version. The Caldi recipe, which I will introduce later, is the simple version. This corpus could be downloaded from the OpenSLR website. You can also use the script of Caldi's GOP recipe, which gives a full example of downloading, training, and testing. As an example of using this corpus to score at the phone name level, we uploaded a recipe to Kodi. We believe that the classical method is more suitable for building the baseline system than the latest methods. So the pipeline is made following the neural network based goodness of pronunciation of the GOP method. Now let's have a look at the Kodi recipe of this corpus. This is Kodi's code tree. And let's let's find the this this, this recipe. Uh, each is GOP switch ocean sensitive two. That's five. That's entry is run dot sh. Okay. This recipe is a simple implementation of uh, this paper in 2015 by Microsoft, where they presented the neural network based GOP. We have a readme file to uh, that, that, that give a brief introduction to the GOP algorithm. The classical GMM GOP is posterior to the canonical form because because uh, GMM output selector instead of posterior, we have to use Bayesian Bayesian rule to convert the likelihoods to posterior. Maybe we need to process with bit coding to find the maximum likelihood among the forms. You may want to read the classical paper from the, this is one uh, from Cambridge for details. And the N based GOP is much similar because because that the output uh, of the neural network is posterior exactly. We can get uh, we can get those directly. What we only need to do is to combine Combine the uh, combine the uh, combine the uh, signal posteriors into forms. That's what those equations do. And we could also use the posterior array as a feature to train to train some scoring models. So let's so let's look at the, the script. There are many stages. Uh, let's zoom in to let it clear. Okay. The first stage is download and uh, uh, entire, mm, which, which downloads the data set from the OpenSR automatically. Then, data prepare, acoustic feature extraction, including a vector, just like uh, other recipes. In stage 5, we compute the posteriors of the signals and oh sorry, where is it? Okay, and uh, and store this up into files. Then prepare date lungs, split data, okay. Stage 8. Uh, it is a little tricky in stage 8. We should we wrote a new two names, compile, train, graphs, result, lexicon. Let's have a look at it. It should be at, yes, source. Yes, it is. It's here. So, what is it doing? As we have introduced, 
the canonical phone sequence was supported by the expert. However, Cauchy's default alignment setup does not guarantee the alignments, uh, alignment output to be identical to the uh, canonical phone sequence voted by the expert. The possible phone sequence are all contained in the Lexin FST, so the phone sequence produced by the alignment is uncertain. If the voted canonical phone sequence differs from the alignment result, the scores will not be comparable with the manual scores. Therefore, we build the RG FST directly using the canonical phone sequence, that is the transcript, transcript phone uh, result composing RMG. We do not need a lexicon. Then we do force alignment using the RG we just built. Because the probes have been computed in the previous stages, we should align mapped.sh okay. which is similar to align si.sh but it uses props. Yeah, it uses props instead of acoustic features as it inputs. Then we remove the phone markers and obtain the phone level alignments. So we come to the essential part of this recipe, compute GOP. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. This is source code. It is an uh, implementation of the classical, the classical paper, mm. the, the N-based GOP. Actually, it's very simple. It just translates the equations of the paper uh, one, by, one by one. Firstly, I compute RPP for GOP calculation, and then compute GOP from RPP and output both GOP value and GOP base features. The output are stored in Cauchy's posterior format. And if you like, you can visualize the features in stage 13. And now comes the last stage, which is phone level, phone level scoring. We train some, some scoring models using the, uh, the GOP-based features from the uh, previous stages. Uh, let's see this training script. The script uses uh, SVR to train a scoring model uh, with the human labels. And this is the result. Not very strong, but enough for baseline. Hope you can achieve better results in your research on this corpus. And don't forget to submit your better results to the paper's physical website. Now there's only a phone level scoring task for now, but you can also commit the word level and send the level results. So thank you for listening, and we hope it. We hope this corpus is helpful. Thank you.